Oh, fuck. Oh, wrong button. Cox. We pushed that one. There we go. I'll put it on free camera. So, we've got... X Barracuda, Kimmy, Gurren, Saiten, Eight Elements, CGH, Piggy Tin, You Mad Bro? Ek Eeyore, Easy We Got This, Computer Brackets Easy, and Private Ravern. I hope that's not going to be Raven, that's a terrible misspelling. Uh, they're all connecting to the game. So this is uh, just a random podcast. Uh, somebody posted it on Reddit. Um, I hope they they find out that I'm, I'm going to cast it and watch because then they could talk about how uh, maybe they could even say in chat about what they were thinking anyway, it's all pick I'm going to make some predictions I already know from the description that Nick's assassin is picked the big heroes you see in pubbies picked at the moment is you see Abaddon picked a lot, you see Spirit Breaker obviously everybody knows that, Nature's Prophet of course because of Admiral Bulldog um, and then after that Shadow Fiend always seems to get picked all the bloody time um, who else gets picked a lot? In terms of supports, you generally don't see any. You generally, like, I generally see, look at this. Pudge, Nightstalker, so Morphling. I gu guarantee you, you won't see a single, um, a single support picked in this game. I'm, I'm going to make that prediction right now. Let's find out if I am right. By the way, thank you to everybody who watched, um, <clears throat> the Staff Cup. Offered your moral support last night. Um... We gave it our best shot. I was a stand-in for the Good Studios team. It was me and um, Draskal and uh, James Harding, Wepass and Squiff. And we did really well. Uh, I did my best. Oh, there you go. Enigma. He's, uh, he's not really support. He's kind of a kind of a semi-support-ish. Ish. Uh, I like him anyway. Uh, so there we've got a Lycan. Beastmaster. Beastmaster is sometimes... You sometimes see him referred to as a support. If you look at some of the wiki pages and stuff like that, they talk about him as a support. Um, I mean, the thing is, is it, look at his stun. It's a, a four second go through BKB. It's three, three and a half, four. Like, it, you know, it, it's pretty much, it's good from the get go. Um, it's, it's an impressive stun and it does damage. Uh, that's good, no matter what. His wild axes, that's a decent amount of damage. But his inner beast, bonus attack speed of 40 at max level. And he gets vision and stuff with the Call of the Wild. So... He's not like he's not like a carry, is he, Beastmaster? He's kind of a hard hardcore support. Uh, they got a little stumpy there. Uh, Nick's assassin has gone for ring of armor and six tangos. Let's see what Enigma builds. Um, there's a whole bunch of things you can get as Enigma in the jungle. You just need a lot of uh, you need a lot of uh, mana regen. Soul rings, I think. Do you need it? It's, I, I, I like to get a blink dagger as quick as I can because you can set up some sick initiation. He's just gonna cash by a soul ring. A caboosh. Um, Pudge has gone for a Quelling Blade. Uh, salve and Tangos. In fact, wait, there's a button I can push here. Let's we'll see if there's anything particularly unusual. So we got... Well, I guess it's going to be Pudge mid. Barracuda. Is he going to go safe? No. Rubik solo safe. Alright, this could be a thing. I have no idea how this game ends. Um, at the moment... We've got Night Dude, Rubik, uh, Drow, Naga, and Pudge up against uh, Alchemist, Enigma Jungle, Morphling Mid, which is a thing, Beastmaster, a Beastmaster Nyx lane. That's a thing, ain't it? And here we go. Look at that, that's a skinny looking morph. Did they make his model smaller? He looks tiny. It must be a set. Look how witty he looks. It's a pop. She's got the, that net is disgusting. Look at the range on that, by the way, and look at the duration. You can get a five second and snare at level four. I mean, the level one. It's a, such an easy level one gank if you get Naga Siren. Anybody watching the uh, the Staff Cup? We had a Naga Siren, Lich, and I think who was the carry in that game? Might have been Gyro. Anyway, it was easy to kill. Very, very easy. Uh, let's try and keep our eyes peeled. We don't want to miss first blood. Yellow yeah, Rupert of the Superior. I love, I love the way Purge opens his videos like that. I, w I need an opening like that. Instead, mine is just kind of a, two minutes of fumbling around and then I sort of apologize. Very English, I suppose. 
by which I mean embarrassing and terrible. Soul Ring and a single branch. That branch will make all the diff. Plus one to all his attributes. All the attributes get plus one. Private Ravern. Nyx Assassin. I guess he's... Is, what is he building here? What do you get? I mean, that's kind of part of an armlet. I wonder if he's getting a... Sorry, I mean, it's part of a bracer and part of a trank boots. So, is he getting like a ring of Bassi or something? Ring of a killer? What's he building? What's he building in there? He's going to get a ring of a killer. He's going to get Wraith Band into ring of a killer, isn't he? That's the thing. You mad, bro? I like all this crazy shit he's got over the letters. That's so clever, man. I wish I could be that clever. Alche Alchemist. Al the Chemist. Look out, Al! Naga Siren has... Do you remember uh, TI2? Naga Siren was purely like the carry, and if she got jumped, she'd go, la la la, and everyone would walk away. And now she's like, support Naga Siren. Like, James played her in the Star Cup pretty much every game, in fact. We got Naga Siren, and he played her as a support. And that, that was that. Bassy is comment on Nyx, is it really? Okay, fair enough. Uh-oh, she's going to bump into the, the black hole, man. Gives her a little bit of the old goose. Give her the goose! What's happening, bot? Nyx Assassin is just down there. Oh, big stun. Catches two. Oh, the lift and the throwback. A nice zapper. Gets the carapace, and he's able to run away. A little bit of goose in coming in. Is there ancient stacking taking place? Beastmaster is stacking the fuck out of those ancients. Meanwhile, mid. Pudge Morphling. Is Mor Morphling is not a usual mid. I'm not mad in saying that, am I? There's a big hookoo, but he's able to, to, to wet himself away from there. No problemo. Alchemy, let's have a look at some last hits and denies. 20 0. Oh, leading the farm is the man in the jungle. Well done, Enigma. If anyone can hear the wailing of a child in the background, that's on the baby monitor, and Mrs. F is putting the kids to bed. Um, Morphling is a good mid, says uh, Pseudo something. Hmm. I'm sure you're right. What? Punches are being exchanged. Uh, he lacked the mana for a waveform, otherwise it, uh, that would have been a dead pudge there. Bloody creeps! Kimmy. Down Ranger, again a hero that I've, I've got a very high win rate with, but never really play because, you know, you don't really want me as the carry dear. A single shot at the tower and then flees. Off to get some boots, I guess. Haste on Morph. Look at the speed. This is like a fucking tsunami coming in here. Is he going to catch him? Nope. Pudka is wise to it. Uh, he's. I think he's sending his bottle back on. Nope. He's. Nope. He's just just had his his bottle uh, delivered. Oh, Morphling goes right behind the tower. Gives him the goose. There's the hook. First blood. <laughs> Gifted to Pudge by Morphling. I'm not quite sure. I don't, I don't know if he thought the haste made him immune. And he pauses there to drink his bottle or to type something in, in team chat. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Wait. We can do 10 seconds back. Oh, they're going to get CGH as well. Big stun and a bonko. Okay, so they killed... They killed Drow. And they killed Al Kemp. Uh, sorry. And they killed Drow. They killed Drow and they killed Naga. And in return, they lost a Morphling. Okay. Oh, look at this! That seems almost excessively stacked. That seems like... Quadruple. That's a quadruple camp, isn't it? You've got dinosaurs, two sets of, of Nazgul's, and the rock dudes. That's a big camp. This this Beastmaster's going to go... Suddenly, he's suddenly going to go... Ting, 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 like three levels at once. Let's see how Nyx Assassin is going. He's got his ring of a, a killer or a quiller, however you want to put it. I think it would be a killer. Sounds sounds better. A quiller. Last hits. Enigma still leading the way. I'm not sure that's usual for for Enigma to be leading the way. Just all right. He's in the jungle, but still. He's doing better than anybody. Oh, big hook. Morphling in trouble. One more bonko. One more bonko. Punch! Why didn't he punch? Just punch! Oh my god, he's going to dive past the tower. Oh, the hook misses. Easy, we got this. He's running. He should turn around. Give him the goose. 
No. Why didn't he just punch him? All he had to do was punch him. Oh my god. Incredible. Incredible. He's going to get a regen. What are the chances? <laughs> Pick it up. Yep, there we go. Uh, has he got Black Hole yet? He has, but he hasn't got mana. He does have Soul Ring. Lots of goose coming in from Kimmy. Is he going to pop his Soul Ring? Here comes the stun. Who's he going to stun? It's going to be Kimmy. They're going to shoot her. Black Hole's going to come with the Soul Ring. Nope, they're going to kill Kimmy instead. There goes the Acid. Private Raven running away. Barracuda is probably going to get a kill here. It is night time, remember? Nice blocks from you, mad bro. Raven doesn't have the mana. Nope, he dies instead. Pudge comes in as well. And they catch Alchemist with the Dismember. He's looking for the stun under the tower. There's the net. Barracuda stunned. Oh, the hook. You mad bro is... He's still going. Oh, it's a double kill for Barracuda. But they managed to get the Naga Siren. And Barracuda takes a lot of damage, but he's going to be okay. Oh, they, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, I thought they killed someone bot, but no, they did not. What's Rubit, how's Rubit doing? He's level four. Um, these camps, I guess, well, they're not stacked. They, they're not warded either, so he must have, he must have pulled them. He must have, uh, he must have just, just run them down. Um, so yeah, treads on Pudge. I know that's a thing that, uh, I, generally you want something like phase boots. I know the people were telling me the other day to get mana boots on Pudge because, um, he does have a mana problem. If you think about the hook as 140, but but other people told me not to do it. It's like training wheels because essentially you shouldn't need uh, to throw that many hooks. And you always have a bottle and hopefully someone on your team will have mana boots. Um, and it's basically like training wheels because it allows you to throw bad hooks and get away with it. He is diving way past the tower. There's a hook. Dismember. Easy kill. Morphling dead. And that's 4-4. Four, four. Towers lost so far. Zero. Even on kills, even on towers. Pudge has activated a haste rune. That's always a scary thing. Is he looking for trouble? They're looking for trouble. It's still night time. In goes night, dude. They want this Nyx. There goes the silence. He can't carapace. There's the rot. Big hook! And that's an easy kill. And he's diving right past the tower. Ek for Eeyore is in trouble. He's only level 3! Because he, he's got this ancient stack. If he doesn't kill them, he's not going to get any mana. He's not going to get any uh, levels, I mean. There's the lift. And they're going to kill Beastmaster. They throw him back into trouble. And he is dead. Kimmy running hard. This is going to kill her, I think. No, Pudge takes over. He takes the aggro from the tower just in time. Kimmy down to 77. Dyer's bottom tower under attack. The crepes, the crepes pushed right up. You mad bros going crazy in the jungle. How's Enigma looking? He's got his Sorrow and he's got mana boots. Why would you have Sorrow and mana boots? Like he, you, base, you don't have that many spells to cast as, uh, as Enigma, I've got to say. Uh, Soul Ring, Soul Ring, and uh, Blink Dagger and Treads always do does the business for me. But but who am I to question these fabulous players? All right, they asleep? Well, they're in bed. Waveform, Nix Assassin comes in with a Vendetta. Rubik, you better run. Nope, not interested. Nix Assassin, not interested. Just gonna chill there instead. Now he punches. Now he stuns. One more, and there we go. Easy kill. Could have done that any time. At any time. Could you pass me a cider, please, love? Oh, you're going to whack it in the oven? Oh, you're just changing the time. All right. Oh, big hook. We missed that. Wave is pushed right up here. Naga Siren level 7. Hasn't had to use a song yet. Not that we've seen anyway. Morphling has a Ring of a Killer. Boots are at base. Grabs a regen. That's nice for him. Coming up behind him is Pudka. Beastmaster has all these ancients to kill. He needs to get over there and start killing them. He's got a soul ring. He doesn't have boots yet. He's waiting. What's, I don't know what he's waiting for. Well, a cooldown. There we go. There we go. Level 5. Oh, big hook. Nice carapace as well. This is like watching me play all of these heroes, by the way. Um... What was stolen? Was it Waveform? Yes, it was. I want to see Rubik cast Waveform. I don't know what the animation for that is going to be. He's going to use it. He's going to use it. Here we go. There's the lift. Nice toss. Not toss, you know, the throw thing. Waveform! Rubik, do it! Do it! Do it! Waiting for the Carapace to wear off. There goes Drow. He's going to... Piggy Tin tries to steal it. He does so. Rubik steals the kill. Oh, there go the little ghosts. Barracuda in trouble. Barracuda's gonna die. 
And it's 10-9. Still no towers gone down. Did Enigma cast Black Hole? He must have done it at some point. I think we missed it. This is just a ra random pub game. Somebody posted uh, a thread on Reddit asking someone to cast their game, so I thought I'd give it a cast. I don't think they know that I'm casting their game. I don't know why people... There, there is a thing on Reddit where people ask people to just randomly cast their games. Uh, and luckily, they give you a description of what happens in the game, so I don't have to go and look at the replay. Because a lot of people say, please cast my game, Pleaflax, and just send me a replay ID. And I have to go through it and think, well, how do I know this is a good game? And whereas this is described as a crazy... Let me see how he described it. It starts with a crazy, crazy back-and-forth game that ended with both teams having their Ancients threatened, featuring an unconventional Nyx build. So, uh, yeah, so we'll see. Hopefully, uh, this will uh, be a crazy back-and-forth game. I've got to say, so far, it, it fulfills every one of my uh, desires. So we'll see. Please, if you do get download, don't don't reveal who wins. Let's just find out the uh, the old-fashioned way. I sense a lift, a great disturbance in the force. He could wait for him out of here, but instead he dies. But in goes, oh, nice double stun. Vendetta's down. Carapace goes down. Oh, he's trapped between four people here, and this is a dead bug. Oh, wait a second, who's coming in here? Oh, the black hole catches too, and our chemist goes crazy. Pops his ult. There's the hook. Managed to save Barracuda. Oh, that was nice. That was nice play all around. What? Can, could you pass me a cider, please? You mad, bro? Going to town on night, dude. There goes the... I always forget what it's called. Malefice. In your malefice. Punch you. Punch you. One more punch, you should do it. One more punch. Kill! Oh my god, he's gonna walk away! No, he turned to stun! And he died! I don't know why he turned to stun. He should have just run away. What was that all about? Cheers, love. Right. How's Kimmy doing farm-wise? Well, it's not awesome, but 30 minutes in, last hit and denies, she's behind uh, the fucking Enigma, who's still leading the way. He's buying wards as well. That's impressive. Well done, Private Raven. What was stolen? Replicate. Still don't completely understand how Replicate works, I'll be quite honest with you. Uh, Morphling replicates any hero. Oh, so he can switch to the point of the Replicant. So he's replicated this guy, who hits... Can he cast spells, the Replicant? Surely not. So he's just basically replicated the guy, oh, so he's run almost running out of time. It doesn't last long, does it? My waifu is pretty. They said you sound pretty. Yeah, she looks pretty too. Right. Gold acquired. They're going to push this tower now. This could be the first tower. Oh wait, second tower of the game. Sorry, my bad. We've already lost mid tower. We missed that. And here goes the push. Bungo bongo. 11-2 and they are even on towers. Although, oh wait a minute. They both lost their mid towers. Pflax, pay attention. I know they've lost their tier 1 bot. And uh, the tier 1 top surely has to be next here. And they're all back in hard. Back in very hard. How's Beastmaster? He's level 7, he's got his raw. He's not getting Inner Beast at all. Um, I always like Inner Beast, I've got to say. How's Night Dude doing? Treads Urn. And I guess it's going to be an omelette? Could be omelette. It's got to be, eh? Looking for trouble mid? Where's Pudka? Yep, he's got a Vanguard. That is a thing. He's got a Quilling Blade, a Bottle, Treads, and a Vanguard. He's looking for a big Pudge Huku. They apparently are completely unaware of him. Yep, they can't see him. That's a nifty spot to hide. Looking to initiate. Who could he go on here? It's a little tricky. He's going to wander out. He's been spotted. Nice rot. Switches to the Replicant. So then Morphling, Morphling changed positions with the Replicant, who was back at base, and Pudge wanders off. The rune is a haste rune top. It's going to be acquired by Naga Siren, or she's going to guard it. Anyone want this? Shout out for Dexter, called Miziri. 
Possible trouble. Oh, he gets the Chestrun. And now they've got four men here. These guys, these guys are looking for a fight. Do they go top and get the Alk? Or do they go mid and kill Enigma? I would like to see them shut down this Alk. He's not doing brilliantly, but 46, I mean, that's not bad. They're going on someone. What are they doing? There's lots of ghosts there. They're going to farm the hell out of these. They're worth a lot of money. Oh, they kill the Enigma. Nice hook from Pudge, I think, and into the Dismember. Enigma of, Enigma, of course, the lead farmer. He's saving up for his Blink Dagger. Shadow Blade now an Alchemist. Pasta Rice. What's Pasta Rice? Shout out for Cru Cyrus Dexter. Pretty bad for Grievel's Greed. Oh, shit. Pudge is doing work. He just killed Morphling. Is this invisible Rubik? Round the back. What's he going to do? What could he steal here? He's got Vendetta. It's about to wear off. They're looking for trouble. He wants to kill Nyx Assassin. Hoist. Oh, instead he kills the, the Hawk. For 65 gold. Big hook. Catches Enigma as he TPs in. Turns around. Is he going to black hole? No, he's been silenced. There goes the ensnare. This is a big old team fight. Enigma goes around. They're not going to get the black hole up. There goes the acid. And there goes the sleep from Nagasaren. They're going to set this up neatly. Lack of mana for Pudge. And they're going to back off. Oh, but the hook catches Beastmaster. He manages to get him raw off. Shouts at Pudge. Doesn't throw an axe at him. I think he just shouted at him a little bit. And they back off again. So they manage to kill the Rubik. But Beastmaster and Enigma dead. Shadow Blade used by Alchemist. And he's going to try and walk away. So this lane's now going to get pushed. Meanwhile in the jungle. Nick's farm in the jungle. He's got his Perseverance. Ring of Aquila. And Boots. Let's see. I wonder... He's not going to build... No, 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 no. What? Which of these things could he possibly build? I'm curious. I'm extremely curious to find out what Nyx Assassin is building here. Battle Fury Nyx, the chat says. Holy moly. Surely, surely not. Surely he'll get, I don't know, Lincolns or something? Can't be Battle Fury Nyx. That would be a thing. I mean, I, st I still don't think he needs a Lincoln's, but I mean, of, of the items he could build, let's look at him. No, surely not Refresher. I mean, what you know, that would be mad. The spaghetti is, is under there somewhere, isn't it? Do you want me to look for it? No. All right. You found it? No. Have a look down there. Right. Ancients are getting wrecked by you mad, bro. Middle tower, middle tier 2 goes down. Oh, they're using a lot of stuff on this Morphling Replicant. Up they go! Look at this! 19 minutes, they're going to push the tier 3! Axe is doing work. This could be a big fight. They're all going to come back here and defend. They don't have Glyph. Kimmy doing some good damage here, but she's only got Yasha and Treads at 20 minutes. Her farm is... Well, actually, she's the top farmer, but she doesn't seem to have much. She might have something on the way, of course. It might be something on the courier. No. It doesn't seem like much for 20 minutes, I've got to say. Ah, she's got 2,000 gold saved up. That's the problem here. This enigma is just feeding these uh, little ghosts to people. You don't want to do that. Also, that was a terrible use of Vendetta by Nyx Assassin there. He used Vendetta just to walk up, stun Rubik, and then run away. Like, what's the point in that? It doesn't really do much. This is indeed a pub game. This is just a random pub game. I'll try and find a, another game to cast afterwards. Uh-oh. In goes Night Dude. But, round the back... Uh, the stun whiffs, as does the hook. They're going to turn around on Nyx Assassin. Carapace! In goes the shout. It's just a, it's a defensive shout. Oh. The stun comes down from Alchemist, but he's in trouble. That's stolen by Rubik, and he's charging it up as well, and he turns around, and there goes the black hole, but that's interrupted by the stun from Rubik, and there's a <laughs> counter stun from Nyx! 
And there goes the song, and they're gonna walk away? I thought they had the advantage there. But no, they must be. They are gonna catch someone out. Beastmaster, wild axes. That's a little unconventional. Raven here, two braces, and down goes Beastmaster. I thought he would have gone for his Blink Dagger by now. But uh, no. I mean, this is this is the thing. If you get mana boots on Enigma, this is why you run. You feel like you're a little weak, is because you should have gone treads on Enigma. Look, like, you've got Soul Ring, which is basically he hasn't used his Soul Ring at all, as far as I can tell. As your Anski, um, I can't like if it's older than a few days, it gets deleted off the server. So a lot of times, people send me a replay, and I go to look at it, and it's already been deleted. Um, the other problem, of course, is. And send me a replay, and I don't check my Perian.flax email address often enough. And I check it, and it's like been a week, and I'm like, oh shit, someone sent me a replay. So yeah, I apologize. Oh, the hook catches Enigma, and he is in big trouble. Those two braces not doing the business. Nick's going in deep. He's silenced. He can't carapace, and he dies. That is an awesome, awesome amount of, uh, what is it, Fade Bolt. I can never remember the name of that. The green lightning from Rubik doing serious work there. And they're camping them. Hook just misses Morphling. Wild axes completely whiff. What's Morphling got? He's got a ring of Aquila, treads, and a wand. What's Pudka got? Well, he's got this ring of health and he's got a vanguard. So I'm guessing he's building the cloak from this. I hope so. Looking for Morphling. That's a ward right there. Morphling... Well, yep, there's your, there's your hood. Oh, he's just going to walk up to him. Switch to the replicant. Rubik doing some de-warding. Uphill miss chance. They're going to take this tier 2 top. Shout out to Trop. Tyrox, number one mid player. Wow. Yep, this is going to be a battle for your Enix. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, Night Dude takes the tower. Oh my god, team, says you mad bro. He's right to be appalled. He's got a Basher, he's got a Shadow Blade, he's got a Hannah Midas, and he's got Treads. He's doing the usual kind of thing. His team are not. Uh, still closing in on a Blink Dagger, but not quite there yet. Oh, don't don't just use your Vendetta just because you, you want to. You've got to use it to set up stuff. Get your team to come in there. It's a black hole ready? 12 seconds. There goes the Entangle, but it doesn't catch anybody. How did they spot him? I don't know how they spotted uh, Nyx. I missed, must have missed someone. Someone doesn't have a gem, do they? Them. Oh, wait, that, wait, wait. He, sorry, sorry. There is a ward. He must have wandered in here. Yeah, of course. Sentry right there. Four staff on Rubik, and there's a gem on, on Naga Siren. I was, uh, I forgot that, of course, green always means radiant when you're watching a replay. And I kind of, I think we played a lot of Dire last night, and I got used to green being Dire. Hook misses. Are they going to be able to defend this Rax? Big stun coming in. Oh, the toss. There goes the ensnare. Oh, the, the stun catches too. He's looking for the big black hole, but he's silenced. He really wants to cast this. There goes the, the shout on Barracuda. Drow Ranger doing a lot of damage. Carapace is down. One, two. There it is. Black Hole catches two. Catches Pudge and Kimmy. And Mighty just walks into it. What's he doing? It was counter stolen by Rubik, who only catches... Well, he actually catches two. Catches more for the Beastmaster. Interrupted by Nexus Assassin. He could be in trouble. Pudge just walking amongst them, rotting like crazy. He's got his tread switched to Int for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. There goes some ghosts doing some work. Why is everybody running away? Get back into the fight. Get back in there, Nixus has it. Come on. Enigma seems to be the only one who cares about his base. He has enough for a blink dagger. He needs to acquire it. The hook misses. There goes the lift. What was stolen by Piggy then? He stole Malefice, but he dies. It doesn't matter. He doesn't get a chance to use it. As does Enigma. There goes the carapace. Manages to stun too. Punch in all kinds of trouble. Knight did all kinds of trouble. Here comes a stun from Alchemist. He's chasing hard. He's going to kill Pudge. There goes a stun. Bongo. He gets him. And they managed to defend their base and get some kills as well. Night Dude will run away.
Alright, Enigma can afford a Blink Dagger, and he will surely buy one. It's level 2, so it's down to a minute and 20. Oh, sorry, a minute and 90. One, 180 seconds cooldown. It, the, the, they, I think they could uh, seriously improve Enigma by just knocking 10 or 20 seconds off the cooldown on Black Hole. I mean, it's a good spell, but fucking hell. That's a long cooldown. That is a long cooldown. I mean, given that it can be interrupted, it's a channeled spell. I mean, fucking Beastmaster's shout, look at that. It gets a fucking 70 second cooldown, it goes through BKB. That is a that is a 27 minute Midas on Morphling. That's what that is. That is a 27 minute Midas on Morphling. The thing with the thing with Black Hole is it can be game changing. I agree that it can be game changing. Like if you land a good black, like I I, I have won games off a good black hole. Like you know, either me landing one or. or Someone on a team landing one, and we've lost games because of a black hole because it is incredibly powerful. But I mean, that is a look at that cooldown. Is that's three minutes even at the max level? I I kind of think it promotes negative play because you tend to just wait for that to be up. Do you know what I mean? Like if you if you're gonna be like, ah, oh, we'll wait for black hole to be up and then we'll attack. It's kind of like nah. It doesn't. It doesn't do much damage. It is a great spell. It is a great spell. But it is. I mean, you know. By the time you get it to level three, anyone really important in the game will have a BKB. Apart from Kimmy, she's got Manta treads. She's got a thousand gold. Shoot an arrow. Nope. She's gonna Manta. They're gonna take this Rax. Big. This more thing is just food. He's just wet food at this point. There goes the shout. Stuns the pudge. Black hole's down for one second. It's gonna be a big four man. It's gonna be a four man. He's gonna blink in there. He's gonna walk in there. He's silenced. He can't cast it. Raven, come on! No! He had the perfect four man black hole, but he got hit. He got hit by the drow silence. There's the hook. Beastmaster's dead. Bye bye from Enigma. He wants this. He wants this. He's looking for it. There it is. It's right there. You'll get two. Nope. He's not going to use it. He's silenced. He's the Malefus on Rubik. What is Rubik Steel? Rubik Steel's Malefus as well. Okay. He's still got Black Hole. He st managed to save his Black Hole. I, I like to get Mech and BKB. Because the thing, like, you're right. The thing with Blink Dagger is, is you're really only using it to do Blink Black Hole. Right? And the thing is, unless you can catch a perfect three or four man black hole, your blink black hole is worthless compared to being able to BKB and walk into the middle of them and black hole. Like, I get that. I do get that. But it depends. If you're playing at my kind of level, then blink black hole is fine. But against, yeah, against good players, it, you literally want to get a BKB on him because you can just walk up. Let's have a look at some statistics. Uh, XP per minute. Wow. Way ahead is you mad, bro. Gold per minute. Same. N completely uh, no surprise there. Last season denies. Alchemist leading the way with Drow not far behind. She has her Crystallis now. And Treads. Morphling. Well... I guess he's getting a Manta, and he's got his Midas. 27 minute Midas, lest we forget. 27 minute Midas. After this, I think I'll play. It's that lull, that 30 minute lull. Look at Beastmaster. Just chilling, waiting for 53. Now he goes in. Night Stalker's bottled the DD. He still farmed the Ancients at 31 minutes. I guess... I guess that's okay. I'd like to see a Blink Dagger on Beastmaster, because I'd like to see how effective it is. I've tried to get there myself, but I don't really manage. But so far, this build... I think he's, he's going more of a kind of support uh, Beastmaster. Drums and, and uh, 
mana boots. See, but this is why if you had a bit of coordination, you would have said to Enigma, don't get mana boots, I'll get mana boots. You've got a soul ring, just get treads. Or even phase boots BKB, so you can get in there quicker. Now we're going to get the sick black coal. Oh, but no! There's the shout, saves Enigma, and he's going to run away. He is looking for a big black hole here to turn the game around. There goes the ensnare on the carapist, uh, Nick's assassin, and he is hooked to his death. How is this a big game with lots of back and forth? It seems like it's entirely in Radiant's favor. I honestly can't see how they can throw this. They've already taken one Rax. Jem just sat in base, by the way. And they are going to lose a second lane of Rax. Oh, the big lift. DD Night Stalker. That is always a scary thing to see, ain't it? There goes the stun from you mad bro. He's doing a lot of work on Barracuda, but there goes the song from CJH. What was stolen? Wild Axes. You mad bro with the acid spray. Nice lift. Oh, he's going to self stun. But wait, Enigma's there. 10 seconds on the blink. There goes the stun. That is a, from downtown. That is a Hail Mary of a stun. Are they going to black hole and catch two? No, he's going to hold on to it. He's silenced anyway. He is chasing hard. Enigma is manning up on CJH here. He needs to be careful. There's the blink. Malefus. Two seconds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a midnight pulse. Caught in the net. TP out from CJH. And he's going to be fine. Private Ravern. A little bit manly there. Meanwhile, well, they managed to defend their base. What episode of The Simpsons is that? New one. Yeah, new one. Waveform. Easy, we got this. Nobody has gone anywhere near this man yet. Rishman has been completely unbothered. He's fine. He is fine. What's happening down here? We've got a vendetta Nyx assassin. Actually in a good position for once. Oh wait, no. He's surrounded. Here comes this Shadow Blade stun. Morphling. Well, they're going to kill Kimmy. There goes the hook. Are they going to get Barracuda? They're doing a lot of work. Waveform as well. Lots of damage. Barracuda's popped his armor. They're chasing... Pudge, Barracuda's gonna die. Oh, the armlet toggle, that's nice. Here comes a lift and snare on Morphling, but what was he trying to do then? Looked like he was TPing out. I think I must be mistaken. Morphling dies. They managed to get Rubik as well. And now they're gonna chase CJH down. Do they have a stun? He's got a stun in one second. He's charging it up. There goes the Shadow Blade, gives him a bit of extra speed. 3.5, 3, 2.2, 3, 1.5. There goes a stun from downtown. Catches CGH. Private Raven there as well. Malefice is down, but it doesn't matter. Midnight Pulse, and they're going to take out CGH as well. Nyx Assassin, Battle Fury. Oh my god, what's he building now? This is this looks like a Yasha. Is he may, maybe Diff Blade? Well, Ags doesn't do anything for him, so it's either Yasha or Diff. What do you think? Answers... On a postcard, please. Sanjin Yashi. Yeah, I think you're right. Does Vendetta damage cleave? This is a very good question. It's a very good question. It's bonus damage. So, I think it must do. I mean, it's just bonus damage to his attack. Interesting. So that does mean a, a well-placed Vendetta could cleave a bunch of people, but still... Come on. Here, look. I can double-click on a dude's portrait and it follows him. So, Alchemist now has Basher, AC, BKB just arrived, and a Shadow Blade, and a Midas, and a Treads. At 35 minutes, he's got a lot of things that he... Basically, he's got pretty much everything he needs. I guess he's going to go for, like, what, an Abyssal or something like that? Just so he can get through a BKB, maybe on Night Dude. Let's see what he goes for next. Be interesting. A lot of push happening bot here. Budga with the blade mail. He's getting blade mail, BKB, hood, and vanguard. That's interesting. I don't know why you need... Do you need a BKB on Pudge? I don't think you do. 
I guess he can BKB and just walk amongst you rotting, but if you're stunned, you still rot. And he's got treads instead of phase boots, so anyway. There's a nice hook on Beastmaster. Is Black Hole down? I don't know where, where the Black Hole's coming in, but it's dead. Here it comes. Here it comes. He's looking for the big four or five man. is right there. But instead he's lifted by Rubik and he's in all kinds of trouble. He only catches two. They're going to finish him off. He does manage to get a full black hole off. The stun comes in from you, Mabra, who's going to town on Barracuda. CGH is in there as well. There goes the song and they're going to walk away. What did Rubik... Well, Rubik died. I thought he might have stolen it. You, Mabra, is looking for trouble here. And back they go. I've got to say, the thing with um, with Enigma's black holes so far, the, the, the range of blink bag, you don't need to walk here in order to blink here. Do you know what I mean? Come up here, blink in, and quickly cast black hole. I mean, you've, it's got a short cast range on it, so you can go blink and cast, and you'll be able to get a black hole off. He had a four man. There was a clear four man right in this area, and he didn't get it. That could have been... I mean, they won the fight anyway, but he didn't have to die. So far, he seems to have gone in there and died. Oh, wait! Tell your team to initiate, get them to initiate, and then come in with the sick black hole. Obviously, as you guys are pointing out, what people buy entirely dependent on the game. You're right. There are optimal builds, and there are the builds that, that other people go for. So, uh, Morphling building towards his... Manta now, I assume. Um, I mean, what else is he going to get here? It's got to be, right? Not a Lincoln's. Actually, it could be a Lincoln's, no? Probably a Lincoln's. What's Drow got? Mas she's going Mask of Madness. She's going for a, a late Mask of Madness. But uh, Manta, I guess, Manta, Daedalus, and Mask of Madness, Drow. And they're finally going to attempt. We're finally going to get a 40-minute. Oh, wait a minute. The big hook on the illusion. I think that was the replicate. Was that the replicate for Morphling? I think it was. And they're going to go for this Morph, uh, this uh, Roche, and they're going to get him. But wait. Whoa, nope. Nobody's picked it up. Wait, now Baraku's got it. What are they waiting for? Big hook on Morphling. What can he do? Nothing. He dies. Big stun. Catches two. Catches three, actually. But Drow died. Acid spray. And there's a stun. This is some high ground stuff. Mmm. <laughs> the song didn't help. Punch a Barracuda to walk away. Who are they going to chase? They're going to chase these two guys. Even though those two guys were almost dead, they're going to chase these two guys. And off they run. I'm not quite sure what's happening. It feels to me like... The Radiant team should be winning, but they seem to be losing every fight. Oh, Raven blinks into the clip. He could be in trouble. But no, the Malifus is going to take care of Barracuda, and he backs off. Big hook! Catches Enigma! But Black Hole... Well, no, Black Hole's down, so it doesn't matter. I mean, they take him out as well. Now they can push, surely. Ha ha ha, says Gurren Sighton 8 Elements. And, uh, yeah, Alchemist finally able to TP away to safety. <laughs> Fuck, I thought I'd get away already, says Private Ravern. That was a good hook. Not so fast. Ha <laughs> ha! So we've got four staff drums, Rubik. I think Rubik's done alright, actually. I've been uh, been happy with Rubik's play. If he'd been on my team, would have been happy. Uh, what are we looking like on Night Dude? God, look at that scary face. He's got a lot of items. Omelette, BKB, Urn, Basher, Aegis. Oh, come around the back here. Stolen? What was stolen? Well, Vendetta was stolen. This Nyx Assassin, man. This Nyx Assassin, I'm telling you. Oh my god, Alchemist doing work, and the gem is down. He's like, there's a gem here, guys. He's got his Hyperstone. That damage, holy cow. Kimmy going in on computer easy. He is silenced. He is hooked. He is probably dead. There goes the stun from Rubik. He'd stolen Impale. And they're going to go, you mad bro is all over this. Wait a minute, we've got a Shotgun Morph coming in here with the waveform. There we go. BKB from Pudge. Kimmy up on the high ground, just shooting down at everybody. He's going to turn around with a stun. Barracuda is BKB'd up. Pudge goes down. Piggy Tin, what did he steal? It doesn't matter. Did he steal Shout? Nope, he stole, cool. he stole the uh, the boar and the thingy. The boar's going to set a Morphling. I think he's going to escape. Meanwhile, back here, 
Alchemist going to town on Barracuda. Barracuda running like the wind. Pudge with a sick hook. What's he going to do? Nice stun. Black hole. It's up. It's going to be a two-man. Nope. He's just going to get Pudge instead. You mad bro going to town on him. And there goes Pudge with the hook. Managed to take out the Alchemist. Just at the last second. The, uh, the, the, the boar and eagle steal from Rubik. That was perfect, man. Slowed the morphling down with that venomous uh, sort of spit that the boar has. Very nice. Very, very nice. So now Beastmaster. Beastmaster with a gem is no joke. Because his roar, of course, is a four-second stun at this point. Look at that. Goes through BKB with range. Uh, very, very, very useful. But catching out someone who might be invisible, like, say, Drow, who could have had a Shadow Blade, but she she hasn't. I think you, you sometimes get Shadow Blade on, uh, on, uh, on, on Drow, don't you? Could be wrong. I thought you did. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I'm not hungry. I've already ate fish pie. This, this Nyx Assassin, this is a dude here. Look at this build. Oh, he's going to go on the Rubik. Big stun! That's a dead Rubik, surely. Yep. Well... It worked! Mirian clacks. Fish pie is the, the business. Miss F made it yesterday. It was very good. Mm. That Lincoln's <laughs> very useful. The boar going. Going in on night, dude. There's a midnight pulse. Looking for a big black hole here. Actually, no, wait, sorry, it's down. Drow doing damage but gets stunned by Alchemist and she dies in like a heartbeat. This song, this is starting to become a recurrent theme. They're starting to have to sing and run away. He's looking for a big hook here. Is he going to throw it? No. I quite like Pudge's hooks in this game. They've been pretty good. I'm not quite sure about the build. It's a little unusual. Claymore. Looks like he's getting a Shadow Blade at this point. Don't search for fish pie. Why not? No, fish, fish... What is a fish pie? You get you get some fish, some prawns, you make a roux, which is like a sort of butter and flour and milk sauce. You cook the fish stuff in the roux, you pour it into a glass dish, you put mashed pie, uh, mashed potato on top, whack it in the oven for a bit, fish pie. Put some dill in there as well, away you go. It's good. Mm. The Lincoln's there. Lincoln's is a bumhole. And that is very defensive. Very defensive uh, morphling. Pyrian Flights has got the fish pie. What's being delivered here? Well, that is the Talisman Evasion on Nagasiren. You know what that means, folks. Butterfly or Halberd? I'm gonna I'm going to guess he's going for Halberd so they can disarm the Alchemist. That would be my guess. Uh, which I think would be a decent shout. Uh, that is six sentry wards. Yeah. Bear in mind they're up against a Shadow Bladed Alk and a Nyx Assassin. So I don't think it's terrible. But um Yeah, we'll see. Where's his, where his replicate? Where is his replicate? Is that it? No? This next assassin. How do we find his replicate on the minimap? Is it in base? Is that it? Yeah. Yep, yeah, there it is. Blue waffle lemonade party? Chicken pot. Now, I don't know what chicken pot pie is. Pot pie? Yeah. What, when they say pot pie, what do Americans mean? Like a, a short cross pastry. Yeah, top, just the top, not a thing. So like, what do they what do they call that? No, we don't call it a pot pie. What do we call it? No, we don't call it a pot pie. We don't call it chicken pot pie. Yeah. No, 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 no. We don't do it. We, it's cheap, cheap. It is cheap. Why not? Why wouldn't you have pastry all around it? Crazy. Look at the alk. 
Now, Beastmaster has finally had to max Inner Beast. If he stands near the Alchemist, Alchemist's attack speed is fucking ridiculous. So, at the moment, it's 23. Uh, if, if Beastmaster stands near him, it's higher than that. Uh, Beastmaster at the moment just seems to be standing still. So they are down to one Rax. They need to defend this with their lives. If they lose this Rax and come back and win, I'll be amazed. I, I, it's, it's like one in a hundred times you see a comeback from a Mega Creeps thing. Um, these guys are just chilling in base. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. Uh, there's the Eagle. The, the Hawk, sorry. Oh, fuck. Wrong buttons. Jesus. They are looking for this big mega push bot. No kid, my papa! It's my chicken papa! I know that episode. That's a good one. Right. CJH. A lot of earn charges, a lot of one charges. Oh, look at this. They've got the Armée du Nord. They're going to go in here. Alchemist with the acid spray. There goes the song? What the fuck was that? I think they were standing around. These, these guys now standing around saying, "What the fuck was that?" That was a that was a heck of a song. Nope. Oh, there goes the goosh. They're gonna have seen this as alchemist. Waste dismember and lift on. They should go in now. They should go in now. But they do not. They they have fallen for this replicate every single time. Right, here we go. This is it. Big hook on Morphling. Can he waveform out? He cannot. There goes the Lincolns. And Morphling drops. Enigma now has Blink and BKB. He doesn't BKB before he blinks, which he should have done. He could get lifted here. This could get stolen by Rubik. It does not get stolen by Rubik. I'm not quite sure why. Drow dies. There goes the ensnare. Pudge is thinking about turning around. He should run away. He is going to die instead. Do we have a Malefice? We do not. He's got his blade mail up. They're going to go in on him. We've got a roar. There goes the roar. And they're going to finish off Budka. Uh, there is a Haystream bot. CJH. I don't know why Piggy Tin didn't steal Black Hole there. What was all that about? What was all that about? Like he was literally standing. He was stood here. And the Black Hole was happening in this region. And he just sort of stood there. Like if he stole Black Hole lifted the Enigma and then re black -holed, that would have been easy. Like I thought up to that point, uh, Rubik had been doing fine. He's bought very good items for a Rubik. I mean, he should be doing okay. Anyway, last isn't denies, by the way. This this fucking farming Nyx build with the Battle Fury, he's now leading the way and he's got more farm than the Alchemist. That's, That's crazy. Okay. Uh-oh. Alchemist going for the tower. He punches. He's silenced. He could be in trouble. Here, there's the ensnare. There's the lift. Stacking their stuns a little bit. You mad bro dies. Big, big wedge of cash for Drow Ranger there. And she has got her demon edge. She is very close to a Daedalus now. She's just gone for the, the, the Morbid Mask. She hasn't completed the Mask of Madness. Remember she got Daedalus and then get Mask of Madness. That's okay. Mask of Madness is a pretty dangerous item, but once you've got your uh, your Daedalus as Drow Ranger, holy cow, forget about it. Mad amounts of damage. Grab it. Slide it. Hold on. Actually, I need I need two seconds. Wait, I need I need two seconds because I need to, I need to toilet. it. Hold on, give me a sec. Okay, so throw a push. Pause, and then if I mute the.
Okay, wait a sec, right. Off we go. We are back. Oh, Mjolnir up on Alchemist. Punch, 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 punch. So, look at his look at his attack speed. 0.4 when he's near Beastmaster. So more than basically two point, what is that? Two point five times a second. Now with Chemical Rage, increases his attack speed. Uh, bonus attack time, base attack time becomes one. So if his base attack speed is three nine two, I don't know. I don't know. I can't figure it out. We'll have to look at him. Punch, 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 punch. This guy's like the soup the super soaker to end them all right here. Nyx Assassin, the crazy carry build. There's the halberd on, on Nagus Siren, as discussed. Oh, and they got a Roche! We missed that. Pick it up! Kimmy picks it up. She's got her Daedalus finished. Um And what now? You mad bro? They're gonna look to try to. He's gonna come around the back here with a shadow blood. What's on the TV is strictly come dancing, which Mrs. F is watching. And here he comes, round the back. There's the acid spray. They should see this coming. Instead, they fail to. He comes around the back. Who's he gonna stun? Piggy Tin goes down in two seconds. There goes the song. His current attack damage, his attack speed is three times per second. He's going to turn around and who's he going to punch? Do we still have black hole? We do. Here, we, here it comes. Yay! Gatchus, it's a four man! It's a four man in the acid spray and they're all going to die. They managed to pop the Aegis too. Oh, Raven was waiting for that. He still didn't use his BKB. I'm not quite sure what he's saving it for. In fact, he's only used it once so far. But that was the that was the turnaround right there. That was big. That was the black hole he'd been waiting for. That is why everyone in the chat earlier who was saying this is why Enigma's black hole is game changing. That was game changing. That was game changing. You're right. You're absolutely right. And now Alchemist is going to town. Pudge is trying to defend. Mmm. Self stuns. But look how much health he's got. Nearly 3,000. Look at the speed. I mean, Dismembered barely takes a fifth of his damage. Look at this. This Pudge is in trouble. Blade Mail isn't going to help you, sir. You mad, bro? Actually, is pretty low. Now here comes Night Dude on him, then goes the silence. He backs off. Why? Why? Must he ah, he must have popped Shadow Blade. I mean I thought he was still silenced. Man. If I was this dude, sell this urn, get a gem. Sell the urn, get a gem. You can't have too many gems against this lineup. I really don't think. Cause this is your problem right here. If you can kill Alchemist, you can win the game. He's pretty much the only concern you've got. What, you gonna you worried about Beastmaster? Huh? You worried about this Morphling? No, you're worried about this man who punches for 250 sorry, 242 base! Combash! He's got me on there, he's got AC, he's got BKB and Shadow Blade. And now they're worried. Now they've lost one Rax, they've lost a tower. How long till Roche is back up? Oh, ages. Are they going to look for a fight? Surely not. Oh, and he just switches to the replicate. Alk doesn't need anything now. He just needs to save for buyback. He's got all the items. I guess he could get an Abyssal, but that's basically it, right? He's thinking. He's thinking. What's he thinking about? There's a, there is a second gem on the courier. There is a second gem on the courier. I'm going to assume. Well, actually, what? So we got an MKB up on Nyx Assassin now. Wow, he that is a farmed Nyx. Holy cow! Look at the. I mean, he's leading three hundred and eleven 
Well, 313 last hits he's got now. Holy crap. <gasps> wow. We have a blink refresher beak. Okay, ready, says Enigma. You bet he is, but here comes the smoke from the Radiant. If they can catch Alchemist and kill him quickly, this could be very interesting indeed. They're going to smoke up and they're going to say, let's smoke up to the Ancient. Does Enigma have buyback? He does not. And they're going to go straight for the Ancient. They're going to go straight for the Ancient. Look at this. They thought the backdoor protection was too strong. Can they kill Riven? Why isn't he using his BKB? I do not understand this. I do not understand this. Now he's died. There goes the song. You mad bro is going to try and kill Kimmy. Hook misses. They're fighting in the acid spray. Pudge in trouble. He manages to get away with his Shadow Blade. They did nothing to the to the ancient. That was that was fucking that was terrible. Down goes Drow and Night Dude. This Enigma is allergic to using his BKB. He's used it once. The moment he thought the fight was on, he should have popped it. He had nine seconds. Nine seconds. And for some reason now, well, they haven't got any creeps in the base. That's the problem. They started this. Look at this. There's a there's now an army threatening their racks, but they're gonna lose their bot racks to creeps. Does anybody have a TP? No. 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 <laughs> oh my god. And now Boots of Travel Alchemist is down there. He goes a self stun. CJ needs to run away. You mad bro? Is that in range? This is still in range! Here he goes, he's gonna catch CGH! He doesn't self stun, he's gonna be able to kill her! He gets stunned by Pudge. Oh, the four star pushes him in, and there's the lift, and they're gonna throw him back, and you man bro is gonna die. He died into the ancient. But Carry Nix is coming in here looking for this mid tower. The creeps are pushed way up. Look at this creep wave coming in now. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Meanwhile, I guess Alk buyback, Enigma is sitting here, blink refresher, BKB. Right, if we don't see him use this... I, I bet we don't see him use Refresher BKB at any point in this game. I've got a cold. I'm just, I'm just actually just recovering from a cold. Uh, control, Alt. So I probably am a little horse. This Nyx has been doing this all game. He's looking for the big vendetta. He's got plenty of time. There goes the stun. There goes the dismember. He's silenced. In comes you mad, bro. Lots of damage going down, but he's fighting the pudge. He's fighting the knight, dude. It is night time, sir, and you do not want to fight this guy at night time. Even though Barracuda doesn't have the farm, you do. Is he going to be able to get it? Oh, the hook completely misses, but you mad, bro, gets ensnared. And he dies. Roche is still down. This is not looking great. Shadowblade Nyx, what you think? Vendetta, stun, hit Shadowblade, stun. I'm oh, sorry, Vendetta, hit, stun, Shadowblade, hit, and then mana burn, and then maybe punch him again and, and win game. Yeah, potentially. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. It's all over the place, but you might bro, 18 620, without doubt, the runaway leader of this game. In comes the song, CGH, there's a nice hook. But, nope, Pudge just hooks him up and then they run up. Do they want this tower? BKB from Pudge. He's going to go to town on this tower if he can. Are they going to be able to kill Nyx? Instead, two people are stunned by the Carapace. Pudge dies. In comes Morphling. He's going to try and kill Barracuda. Computer Easy going in on Barracuda. But Barracuda able to run away. Piggyton looking for something to spell to steal. He's stolen Impale. Morphling going in here on CGH. CGH is going to die. The gem is down. You can't destroy gems anymore, of course. Get rid of this wand and pick up that gem, for God's sake. Enigma picks it up. He's now got two gems! So. Well, I don't know how this is going to end at this point. This could go either way. Epic game, says Computer Easy. Well, that's one word for it. Enigma still has Black Hole, still has Refresher. He used his BKB in that fight. He used his BKB in that fight, but he did not use Black Hole, which is interesting. 
Oh, Ek4 caught out. He tries to TP out, but he dies. That's an easy kill for Barracuda. There must have been five gems in this game. Computer easy in trouble. He is silenced. He is bashed, and he is dead. Right. Let's have a look at the items. So, Private Raven, well, Computer Easy, yep. Yeah. Easy we got this, has Lincoln's Manta, Crystallis. He's still got his wand. That only has seven charges, so he's still using it. <laughs> oh, the hook just misses. I've got to say, like, here's what the wand does for you at this point. It gives you 15 per charge. So it's, it's given him 150 health and 150 mana at this point. Like, genuinely, that is not really worth it. Just saying. Or whatever 15 times 15 is. Uh, wait, four, 12 times 12 is 144. So 15 times 15 is whatever extra on top of that. I don't know what this... What, 15 times 15. Someone figure that out. 225. Thank you very much. So basically he's getting 225 health and mana back for full. So this is not something he needs in his inventory. Anyway... This Pudge BKB has actually been quite handy. He wants to get this Rax. He is not going to get the Rax. He is going to die! The Rax lives with 36 health. They're able to defend and in fact drow Pudge and Rubik Dead for the loss of a Nyx Assassin. And Alchemist is going to TP up here and push his lane in. He is pushing the most push lane, which, oddly enough, this is the most push lane. Look at this. They're actually, most of their lanes are pushed right up. This is the right choice. He's up against Naga Siren and Night Dude. Naga Siren's song, of course, a duration of seven. That is a long. That, that is long enough for, some, for for your entire team to TP in if needs be. He is going to try and get this middle tower. Nope, he's going to go straight for tier fours. That attack speed, man. Can they defend this? Well, there goes the glyph. Acid spray. It's a base race. It is a base race. Dora managing to defend, but their range gets down and loses a fi over 1500 health. And Alchemist is going going for their base, and he's going for their tier fours. Do they have buyback? One, two, three heroes have buyback, I think. They need to buy back. GG well played. Intense. And they're saying, GG well played. They're giving up. Why? They could buy back. No. I thought that's what the green gem meant. There goes the lift. What was stolen? It doesn't matter. Oh. The green dot 